Now, through our faith in Christ, we've been redeemed so that we can go out into the, all areas of society, bring Jesus' message to our workplaces through our words and actions. You know, Satan, the flesh, and the devil might have corrupted uh, what, what, much of what we see around us temporarily, but we read the end of Revelation, we know who wins, right? Um, since it all belongs to God, we can be salt and light and turn things around little by little, you know, for everyone's benefit. So let's talk about this concept some more and explore how it can be played out in various professions, including business. All right, so I came up with this uh, a while back, just some things I've learned along the, the, my faith journey. You know, we're saved to serve, we're blessed to be a blessing, so we're redeemed so that we can reform. Uh, you know, God does something to us and, 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 and he's really doing something through us. Um, uh, this is a pretty common uh, scene here in, in John 17 where Jesus is praying in the Garden of Gethsemane and he prays for the protection of his disciples as, and he says that he's sending them out into the world um, to, you know, to do ministry. Um, they're not from the world, but he's going to send them out into the world. Um, and now Jeremiah, this is really good. Uh, Jeremiah 29, 7 gives a similar insight about that. Uh, Yahweh tells the Israelites who are now exiled in Babylon in this book, Jeremiah here, they're, they're out of town, they've been exiled, okay? They're not in, uh, in, in Israel right now. He tells them something unexpected. He says this, to seek the peace and prosperity of the city or land where he has sent them and to pray for their community. If it prospers, you too will prosper. So like the Israelites in captivity, God sends each of us into an organization as an employee to be his agents of redemption, to shine the light of Christ in dark places and become part of his work to bring common grace to all who are made in his image. Um, so there's just a lot of heavy things to think about on that one. A, a, a quote that I really like um, in a book called The Fabric of This World says that participating in Christ's redemptive purposes should involve opposing evil sin, and the perversion of God's good order for human life. He calls us to unrelenting reform. And he says, you're not going to harbor any illusions of establishing a Christian society by our own efforts prior to Christ's return, right? But we must labor to heal and restore a broken world where we can in anticipation of what God will accomplish in the future. And another good book I read uh, by Neil Platinga said from enge called Engaging God's World says when you open our eyes we'll find faithful Christians seeking to extend God's sovereignty in every country every precinct of life including such tough precincts as advertising journalism university education and the military and maybe in research <laughs> beyond you know way beyond uh, so Christians hope to increase the net amount of shalom in the world. So it's funny, even by, you know, studying and how to harness and control and predict, you know, explosives as, as you're going into that field. I mean, you can bring shalom into that. Peace in the midst of a storm. I, I could just see how you, you could do that very easily. 